Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pat Fox. Patrick here, Pat on your back. Personal fitness. Hope everyone's having a great week, a great Wednesday. We're just uh, getting a few technical things out of the way here. Let's see. Uh, again, hope everyone's doing well. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry for the late start. A few tech uh, tech issues this evening. I'm trying a couple different um, systems and platforms, and it's been a little, a little more uh, challenging than expected. A few more glitches uh, and some things. Uh, when your chargers supposedly don't work, um, it's a little, little tricky that way. So, uh, but we'll make do with it. We'll see what we can do, and we'll get through. And we'll make the most because that's what we can do, right? We're just gonna try to see if we can get uh, oops, Twitch up and going here. Let's see if it works this time. Tonight, we're gonna talk about. Uh, why is that not? Sorry, guys. Why that won't work? All right, we'll. Uh, we tried. We'll throw it there later, maybe. All right. Sorry, guys. Again, thanks for your patience. Uh, tech. It's good, good when it works. Um, so what I want to talk about tonight, uh, Tuesday upcoming, is Valentine's Day, the 14th. Um, so we want to chat about um, being your own Valentine is our, our goal for this, evening, or for this week and this year. Uh, Valentine's is always... A nice holiday and about doing uh, something special maybe for for someone you care about, a loved one, a family member. But I wanted to take the opportunity to remind uh, us all that it's important to take care of ourselves. That self-love is very important as well. So maybe we can use uh, Valentine's Day to, yes, uh, show those great gestures of, of love and affection to those around us. But maybe it's a, a good reminder uh, to show ourselves some of that love and affection and care that we all need, that stress relief. And we've talked before about um, how we try to maybe uh, build things in and make the most use of our time. For example, some of us have talked about um, as you watch Pat Fox or just after Pat Fox, maybe using that as your time to uh, do some personal development, do some work on some of the goals that we uh, chat about, the the exercises we talk about and maybe that's when you build in that time to work on it so it doesn't become an extra uh, task for you it's something you just build into your wednesday night and it comes so we're nearing that mindset um it, it's a way to uh put it in there and have it uh just be, be kind of a way um a, a way a, a part of your week um so maybe this is where you can use Valentine's Day uh, for that as well. Maybe that's where you can, uh, again, make uh, self-care uh, part of the routine. There's kind of a built-in excuse for it, for lack of a better word, where you can uh, create this moment for yourself, this this time for yourself, this evening, this day, uh, event, whatever the case is. You can create that for yourself and, and use the not excuse, but the reason uh, or the premise on Valentine's Day to work that in. And then again, we're kind of maybe checking off a few boxes where maybe you can uh, create a little bit of self-care. Maybe some self-care for you um, is maybe something you could do with your partner, with your loved one. Maybe it's a couple's massage. Maybe it's a, a day out in nature. Maybe it's a spa day for the two of you where, yes, you're together and, and maybe you're pampering them a little bit. But you're also uh, pampering and taking care of yourself and giving yourself that self-care. As we've mentioned here before, uh, if we can uh, put ourselves first more often and take better care of ourselves, then we can better care of those uh, around us or those that rely on us. So, again, a great opportunity uh, to, to, to build this in, to, to use the, the, the premise of Valentine's Day to work that in. So again, some different examples. Really, it's up to you. It's it's specific to you and what you enjoy, really. 
But thinking again, like Luke mentioned, maybe going for a massage, maybe uh, sitting, reading a good book. Maybe it's going for a walk, uh, a nice nature walk. Maybe it's going uh, to a museum or to catch a show or a movie or for dinner. Um, maybe it's just spending some quiet time by yourself. Maybe it's visiting some people. Maybe it's curling up, uh, reading a good book, listening to some music. Um, possibilities, again, are quite endless. Uh, so maybe we can, again, think of something that, that you enjoy. Probably, chances are, something you maybe don't do for yourself uh, often enough, if at all. So think of those things. What's well, something maybe that you really enjoy doing but haven't done for a long time? Maybe you put yourself uh, on the back burner, which so many of us do. Uh, maybe it's time to bring yourself to the forefront. Think of those things. So take a few moments tonight after we're done here. You can get out your, your Sharpie, your paper, uh, your phone, take some notes, whatever you prefer. Think of some of those things. Brainstorm some stuff that you like to do. Is there uh, a local sports team that you like to watch that haven't been to a game in a while? Uh, again, is there a park? Uh, is there somewhere you can be outside in nature? Is there a movie being shown? Is there maybe go to the library and get, get some books that you've been meaning to read uh, and, and really sit somewhere and enjoy your time? Draw down a few things and then it's going to make sense for you and see when you can fit it in, when you can make it happen. Uh, Valentine's Day is on a Tuesday. So that could be tricky for some of us to maybe have the whole day to yourself if you're working or have other commitments. Maybe you only have a bit of time here or there. Maybe the weekend is a better time for you to kind of celebrate the you're being your own Valentine uh, for Valentine's Day. Take care of yourself. Again, getting away. Uh, maybe next weekend is the weekend to do it when people aren't trying to cram everything in like they will be this weekend because Valentine's is on a Tuesday things could be busy. They'd be out trying to, to get things done. So maybe next weekend is the time to book it, but maybe make sure you take the time this weekend to at least set it up and think of it and be aware of it because you deserve it. You've been working hard. You've been doing a lot. We've been through a lot the last few years. And again, typically when, when things uh, come up, again, our self-care, our self-love is usually the first thing uh, to be thrown out the window because we, we prioritize uh, everything else first. And we should be doing the opposite. So hopefully this is uh, a chance for you to do that. Take some time. Think of something you'd love to do. Would you want to do it with someone? Maybe incorporate that. Maybe by yourself. Look into it. See what you can figure out. And then book a time and put it in your schedule. Book it. Put it in your schedule so it's there. It's like an appointment. You have to do it. Don't say, well, someday I'll go uh, get a massage or I'll go to the, the spa for the day. Because um, you've probably been saying that for months or years now someday i'll go when things are a little more quiet i'll go no take the time think about what you want to do pick one thing pick a time book it set it in and then it's there it's something for you to do and then watch how when you take that time how great you'll feel on the other side of it how much more you'll get done how better you'll be able to be present for those that need you by taking that time uh, for yourself it's funny, those little things can make a huge, huge difference. So those of you uh, tuning in tonight, uh, again, apologize for the late start. Uh, but if you're tuning in or if you're watching us uh, on recording, let us know in the comments. What are you going to do uh, to to be yourself? What are you going to do to be your own uh, Valentine this weekend or next around Valentine's itself? What are you going to do to uh, have a little self-care, a little self-love? What are some of your favorite ways to treat yourself and to take care of yourself? I'd love to hear from uh, from you guys in the chats and the comments. Uh, and again, maybe your idea, your method, your way of uh, of self care and and enjoying yourself. Maybe that'll spark an idea for someone else who maybe is having trouble, maybe hasn't thought of um, that way to to look after themselves or that way to get away and have a little break. So again, as always, feel free to share here uh, so we can help each other grow and develop and have ideas as we come through. Hello. Hello. Uh, so let us know what you're going to do uh, on Valentine's Day for yourself. Maybe you'll spend time with uh, a little rug rat uh, <laughs> uh, on oh, Valentine's gosh. Day and have, uh, have a bit of fun that way. Maybe you'll be outside uh, taking some time uh, to enjoy the fresh air and be outside. It's a great day today here. Uh, so maybe you can take advantage of that as you're uh, going through 
and uh, enjoying that. And what I'd like to put out to you as a kind of an additional challenge for this is uh, make it last. Don't just make it a Valentine's Day thing or book once, do a one-off for Valentine's Day. Use this again as an opportunity to begin a new ritual of self-care, of booking a massage every couple of weeks, every week, uh, going to chiropractor to, to take some self-care, going to physio to get that nagging injury check. That's all self-care as well. Again, booking an appointment to um, go to the spa, to maybe get a, a manicure or something, you know, whatever you enjoy doing, treat yourself, but try to take the time tonight as you think of the things you really want to do and look to this weekend or next to book them in. That's great. But now let's take some time to, uh, again, see how we can make it a little more consistent. And now let's book in. Let's look at some times. How often do I want to do this? Should I do this? Maybe I should do this every couple of weeks, every month, every week, twice a week, whatever the, the event is and however much you prefer to do it, what you think you need. Maybe we can front load it where you go a lot in the beginning and then maybe you can go into a little bit of maintenance uh, set up afterwards if it's massage or physio, something like that, uh, where you can get into it. Maybe you try one way and then again, work through it, adjust the appointments uh, if you need to or the schedule. But again, trying to take advantage of it and, and again, make it um, a new habit that you build in, a new thing that you develop. So it's not just on the 14th, I'm going to go for a massage or on the 20th because of the 14th. Make it so, okay, on the 14th, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to book every sec Tuesday and make it a routine and put all those in your schedule so that there, those appointments are booked, that time set aside for you because you need that time to yourself to be away, to, to disconnect, to unwind. All those things are very important for us, but we have to book them in just like going to the gym, which is a form of self-care. And self-love, that can be maybe your Valentine to yourself as setting yourself up and getting into the gym and getting into the routine or setting up appointments with your with, with fitness coach and getting things uh, in motion that you can make, it, again, part of a routine so that we don't need to wait for these occasions or these holidays to uh, just to treat ourselves and take care of ourselves. It's something we should be doing um, all the time. Things like getting our rest and eating well and hydration, that's all part of it as well. If you maybe have a sleeping day, a nice massage, maybe a spa day, you relax a little bit, you'll probably have a really good night's sleep that night. And then again, maybe that one sort of act of self-love, self-care, you know, it might have a trickle effect on, on other areas of your life where maybe you get a really good night's sleep and you can start to see that routine. Or maybe you just feel energized and relaxed from the the treating yourself and a good night's sleep, you know, we probably maybe had a nice meal attached to some of this stuff. Maybe you got to the gym, got a workout in. You'll notice how you feel after a lot of the self-care uh, and we want to recognize how you feel. I said again, if we treat ourselves and, and understand how we're feeling and sort of the positive effects that come from it, then chances are we're more likely to stick with it and, and keep it as part of our routine because we know how good it makes it, us feel. So take some time. Think of some things that uh, you would love to do. Again, chances are you're probably not doing them. You're probably putting them off. Some of your favorite activities or some of your favorite self-care. Again, it could just be you solo. It could be with a partner or, or a loved one because it is Valentine's Day. Maybe it's just a friend. You and a friend go somewhere, have a, a guy's night, a girl's night out, and have uh, some time together. Maybe that's your self-care. You know, whatever works for you, write down some ideas. Pick what's going to work for you. Pick maybe the, the most feasible to do. Again, setting ourselves up for success. If there's a lot of hoops and things to go through to make something happen, maybe that's not the thing to start with right now. Maybe we pick the easiest thing to kind of facilitate and get out there. And then again, we set ourselves up. If it's easy to book a massage for one day next week or to book a nature walk on Thursday afternoon when you're done work, Pick some of those things, again, to get that ball rolling, to get that momentum in. And again, make sure you, as soon as you uh, book it and pick it, write it in your agenda, put it right in there, like an appointment, put it in your calendar, whatever you use, put it in there, just like you would a doctor's appointment uh, or something you had to do for your, for your kids. 
put those in there, then that time is blocked off and set aside, and you work everything else uh, in around it. So think of the things you wanted to do. Pick the one that, again, is probably the easiest to do to make sure uh, that you follow through with it, to get rid of those roadblocks or obstacles, those excuses that we build in as to why we don't take care of ourselves. Book a time. Again, look around. Maybe it's this weekend. Maybe it's Valentine's Day. Maybe it's next weekend when the crowds have sort of died out a little bit and everyone else has forgotten about taking care of themselves and just made it about the one day. You're going to set in that new routine of working self-care into your weekly, monthly uh, schedule so that it's consistent. It's a new part of your routine. And that will help your sleep. That will help your workouts. That will help your skill development, whatever it is you're working on goal-wise. Self-care will help that. Stress levels, all those sorts of things. So take some time now as you pick an activity. Again, grab your schedule, look ahead, and see what you can do. Okay, every you know, every every Tuesday, I can do this. Every Wednesday after Podfax, I'm free. I could go for a nature walk after we watch, or maybe just before, maybe during. If you have the data, maybe take me with you and listen in your, your headphones as you're walking through uh, through the trail walk or walking outside, getting some fresh air. Maybe you're reading, again, reading a book. Maybe you can factor that in after and tie a couple of these things in together where uh, maybe you go to physio already. So after physio, I'm going to go to the to the workout, uh, to the gym, get my workout in and tie all those things uh, together. Maybe I'm going to go to, the, I go to the gym uh, every Friday. So maybe Fridays after the gym, I'm going to try to book a massage. And if I can get in there, I'll book that every every couple of weeks or every week. I'll go to the gym, go to the massage, and that'll be a nice, nice afternoon, evening for me. And again, just be aware of how you feel making yourself a priority. Be aware of how good it feels to take care of yourself and how good you feel after the fact. If you've, you've taken part in some of these activities, realize that, recognize it, acknowledge it. So that again, it's something you'll want to keep doing because you'll want that good feeling. You'll want that that carefree feeling that you have, that low level of stress, whatever the case is. Notice how good it feels to take care of yourself and notice how much better you can take care of those around you because you've given yourself that time, because you've taken care uh, of yourself. And again, you totally deserve it. You do so much and you put yourself to the back burner too often. You deserve to do this get those activities in. And again, just notice how much more uh, you'll be able to help those around you. Uh, and again, just try to make this kind of a, a new routine, something we add in uh, and some consistency to it. And maybe take a few minutes to look at what do I do if I miss? So if you have, say, massages booked and you have to cancel one uh, or your baby massage therapist is away and you have to miss a week of, <clears throat> of your schedule, okay, what else can I do? What are the options I have? Maybe I grab my uh, foam roller and do some foam rolling that week. I put on my headphones and I do some foam rolling. I do some, some stretching maybe. Again, there's options we can work through. So your brain still gets that checkbox of self-care, but maybe it's just not the exact thing that you've signed up for because things will come up. People take vacations, uh, go on courses, you'll be away, you'll have things come up. So make it work for you. But think of that stuff, like we talked before about our contingency plans and scheduling, looking ahead. Look at those busy times. If it's gonna be hard for you to get in to um, a massage therapist or get some self-care, whatever the case is, because your schedule's really heavy, you'll probably know that in advance. So what can I do? What modifications can I make? What alternatives are there to kind of keep me on track and consistent, but then I'm not maybe doing the exact thing because it's just not going to work with that schedule. Maybe it's a 30 minute massage instead of an hour. Maybe it's a quick workout instead of a, a long intensive workout. Maybe it's a stretch. Maybe it's some cardio. Maybe it's a walk outside. Maybe it's reading a book. Maybe it's foam rolling versus going for a massage or getting out your, uh, your massage gun. Whatever the case is, there's options there. It doesn't have to be uh, set in stone, but we want to have some kind of routine and system uh, in place like we've, we've talked about here with our workouts and everything else. So uh, take a look, plan ahead, and work around those busy times. And when things are a little less busy, then maybe that's when you really ramp up that self-care because you have the time for it. If you have more time, the schedule is a little less demanding. What a great time to refresh, recharge, get things healed up, bring that stress down a little bit, 
work on some self-regulation, some nighttime routines, whatever the case is, so that when things ramp up again, we can better handle it because we've prepared, we've recovered, we've regenerated, we've stored the information uh, in our brain that we've developed to work through this so that we can be easier the next time around. Thinking about of an athlete, a pro athlete, they have a season, there's an off season, they take a little bit of time, not as much as they used to, but they do take some time off typically, or at least lower their intensity, and then they ramp back up for the season. We need those moments too. So busy times, is hard to get in. We wanna be as consistent as we can maybe we modify what we're doing for those busy times and then take advantage of the lighter times as best we can to really uh, ramp up that self-care uh, and, and resetting and recharging and rejuvenation that comes with it. So again, we can hit the ground running uh, when things pick back up. So again, just to uh, summarize here, I don't want to keep you uh, too long. I just saw it again with Valentine's coming uh, a reminder, and it is this coming Tuesday as we record this, uh, so don't forget to get those uh, those gifts uh, for, for those uh, loved ones. And get something for yourself. Book in some self-care. Book in some time to you where you can uh, make sure that you are uh, getting the most out of this and uh, make sure that you're uh, creating a new routine to take better care of yourself. That, again, will give you a big return on investment uh, later on down the road because you'll get through um, all of the stress and, and all the nonsense going on. You'll put that aside, you'll recharge and come back to it. So think of things you like to do uh, and that you want to do and probably been putting off. Pick one that's, or two that are probably the easiest to get going. So again, with less obstacles in our way. Book in those times, whether you have to call someone to make an appointment or if you just book it in your 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 calendar, your schedule for something you're doing, but book it in, write it in there, in use a Sharpie, a permanent marker, put it in there so it can't come out, block that time off for you, and then work everything else uh, around that. As you take part in it, notice how you feel taking care of yourself. Notice how great you feel on the other side of that. And really notice, take some time to appreciate that feeling and let it sink in and register as again, our body, our mind is going to want that good feeling to come back and repeat itself. That will help us be a little more um, consistent and disciplined maybe in setting this up as a routine, not just a one-off like so many other people will do for Valentine's. We want this to be a routine even if you're doing something with your partner or your spouse. Um, make that part of your routine. Make that a, a, maybe a start of a date night, a weekly date night or uh, a weekly event, a weekly self-care where you can kind of be together. Again, make this part of a routine of us wanting to be better and having a better uh, better life all around for us. And then that's the, that's the kind of finishing point is you want this to be a way of life. Maybe you can group it in with other things. So again, maybe it's a, it's a date night. Maybe it's a time for you and your, your partner to uh, talk about some things and then go for some self-care. Maybe it's a dinner uh, or a coffee where you go over some things and then go on to the date night or on to the massage or wherever, on to the nature walk, whatever it is. Again, maybe you can tie a couple things in with it or tag a couple things uh, in sequence to, again, to make the most of your time uh, and the most of your night. And again, I'd love to hear from you uh, in the comments here whatever platform you're watching on live or recording, let me hear some of your favorite self-care um, modalities, your techniques, or what are you going to do for yourself to be your own Valentine uh, this Tuesday or whenever it is you decide to do it uh, that works. But, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do for you? Because you deserve uh, to have something done for you. So make sure you take care of yourself because uh, we all need to do a much better job uh, of that. And there's so many benefits uh, that we'll get from that. So I can't wait to hear from you. I can't wait to see uh, all the great things you're doing. Uh, if you're if you're out and about and exploring or um, trying out somewhere new, again, if you're posting, tag me at P-O-Y-B Fit, uh, like pat on your back fitness, tag me so I can see uh, what it is you're up to uh, and what it is you're um, doing for self-care. And we can repost those and share those. And again, hopefully... Uh, have everyone working together to get better, uh, to be a better version of themselves, but also to uh, make sure that they're that we're um, getting good ideas and making the community better and helping each other. Maybe we can get some people um, 
who are, are, are stuck and not sure what to do for themselves, uh, maybe we can get them uh, up and running and going as well. And they can piggyback off some of your ideas or your idea may spark an idea for them or something maybe they just haven't done in a long time uh, and been wanting to do uh, or have forgotten about or weren't even aware of that existed. So uh, feel free again, tag me at uh, POYB Fit. Uh, if you're uh, on any of the platforms uh, that you check out Patfax on, uh, they're all the same uh, same sort of uh, still all the same uh, handle, same platform. Uh, so at P O Y B fit, uh, you can can catch me there. Tag me in your your self care, your events, and again, we love to to share and and ex pass on that word of self care and how important it is uh, for us to do that. And again, that's that positivity pandemic of us taking good care of ourselves and showing that good energy and that enthusiasm and how great we feel that could encourage other people who are checking uh, out your posts to say, you know what, I deserve to do something for me too. I should go to the spa. I should go for a nature walk. I should get that good book I've been meaning to get and sit and read. You could influence uh, a lot of people around you and that's how that positivity pandemic uh, keeps spreading and, and moving through. So that's it for tonight, everyone. Uh, have a great night, stay safe out there. Uh, and remember, always make yourself the priority you deserve to be by striving to be operationally fit. Have a great week, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.